everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video I hope you've subscribed to the channel you're welcome this is the JK fam I would love if you would subscribe it is free 99 honey it is free 99 and I really would love it if you would join the family also do follow me on my social media platforms I'm on Instagram I'm on Twitter I'm on TikTok you didn't know I'm on TikTok did you <laughs> a lot of you here didn't know I'm on TikTok I am but I am I'm, I'm not I'm not a TikToker. I just I just post some some reels that are on Instagram onto TikTok. But yeah, I am on all the social media profiles as Just Got Leo. So definitely do follow me on there. Would really really love it. Thank you. Um, and here we are doing another video. And this video is great because it is an ode to myself. This is something that I'm going to watch at some point and be like, yep. Yep, that's really what I was going through in my 30s. So this is the video where I'm going to discuss to you what I have learned and I am currently learning since hitting my 30s. Let's get started. So here's the thing about your 20s and your 30s, right? It's a huge adjustment. Everything changes once you hit your 30s. Your body starts getting tired. You're just wondering. Relationships with people are just really different. They're not the same. Um, your interactions with others are not the same. But then there are good things where you master your craft. You master what you, you know, you bring to the table as a person, as a colleague, as a worker, as a lover, as a sibling, as a child. You just, you settle more into yourself. Um, so much better in your 30s and I know that a lot of you watching this are in your 20s and whatever this is the time now that you're in to have fun and this is the time where you're still you know you're figuring bits and pieces about yourself and about your life out and whatever and you are granted that much that much you're granted that much, right? That much space. Space as well, I mean, I suppose. But there are certain things that I have learned within my interactions with people over the last four years, because I am 34, that have shown me that, wow, whether it be relationships, whether it be people, friends, other women, uh, whether it be with anybody. There are many, many things that change once you hit your thirties. And this is what I'm going to share with you today. Let's, this is going to be a lot yeah. Oh, poured it on my top. Lovely. Okay. So a quick one, just poured the water on my top. I'm so sorry about that. If it's a bit distracting, I'm not sorry, but you, you hear my chat, you hear my chat. Anyway, it'll dry up as we speaking. So <laughs> Point number one is what I've learned in my 30s is that people want you to be more like them. Now, take a minute. Think about what I'm saying, okay? People want you to be more like them. Once people hit their 30s, they've settled in a certain part of their life. They're settled in work. They're settled in uh, relationshiping, marriage, children, whatever. Once you hit your 30s, you start, especially as a female, you start getting a lot of questions directed at you that go along the lines of, when are you getting married? When are you having a child? When are you settling down? Now, personally, I hate the term settling. I don't get along with it. I wonder maybe if you are watching this and you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I hate that word too. I hate the term settling. I do not get along with that word at all. But... These are the questions that you get asked, especially as a female, once you reach your thirties, it's almost like people have now settled. And I mean it in this particular context, settled into a part of their lives, whether it be married, children, uh, uh, work, you know, they've already, they've, they've set up a routine, a systematic routine that when they look at you, a person who is different from what society normally expects, right? Once you hit your thirties, you are different from societal norms. They start asking you questions like that. And you're sitting and thinking to yourself, but why? I mean, one, maybe it's none of your business, but two, why am I being asked all these questions? Especially more so in my thirties until I got to a point where I realized that, you know what? There's a certain form of discomfort that comes with people who have 
settled into the norm of what society expects from them, there's a certain form of discomfort when they watch you, who is very different to what society normally expects. You are single, you are living your best life, you, are, you don't have kids and you're okay with that, maybe you don't even want them, right? Um, you are thriving in your career, you've got three careers instead of the one career that they have, that may sustain them very well, sure, but something about your life brings a vibrancy that is not in theirs. So they will sit there and ask you questions like, why haven't you settled? Why haven't you settled down? The problem with me about settling down is that you're confining me to a box. If you're saying to me, why aren't you settling down? You're saying basically that, listen, even if you have a guy who's just not that it, you know, he's not that it, but if you have him and you like him and he likes you, why don't you get married to him? Why don't you have a child with him? I ain't trying to have a child with someone I've settled for. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to have a child or a marriage or whatever with the person that I want, the person of my dreams. I'm trying to excel in my career beyond just being a CEO. I want multiple careers. And what is wrong with that? I mean, you're already a CEO, Kateo. You know, I'm not a CEO, but hear, hear my chat. I'm getting at something. I mean, you're already a CEO, Kateo. You've already made it financially. So why don't you maybe have a child? I understand that maybe marriage, you know, you've got your views on marriage and whatever, but I mean, what about a child? Okay, so I must just pick some random Johnny from the street to have a kid with, really? I'm a settle? No, I'm not gonna do that. So people tend to ask a lot of these questions because they kind of don't, it's almost like there's a glitch that goes off where they're wondering to themselves, like, why isn't the life she is living why is the life that she's living different to mine and so many other people at around this age group? Bye. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> One thing that I've also learned in my 30s that I'm currently also learning is that relationships with people, whether be your friends, be a lover, be a parent, will either propel you, make you better, or they'll come to an end. And it's it's that simple. There's no going about it this way, that way. There's no blurred lines. It's black and white. Once you reach your 30s, you know exactly what it is you want from yourself, from your life, from your interactions with other people, whether it be a lover, a, a parent, a, 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 not a child, a parent, a lover, a friend, or whatever. So relationships with people, you it becomes very easy to tell whether this relationship is propelling me and pushing me forward and making me a better human being and I will keep that relationship and nurse it, nurture it, make it better uh, because it makes me better as a human being or whether the relationship is just doomed. This is not the relationship that you're looking for and it will end. Once you get to your 30s, there isn't much time to, ah, uh, let me figure it out. Ah, uh, let's do this, this. Ah, uh, let's wada, wada, wada. There's a yes and a no and a, you know what it is that you want. And you know what it is that you want from relationships with friends, family members, or uh, 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 potential partners or lovers or all of that. You know exactly what it is that you want and you're not willing to compromise on it. You can compromise on certain things. Here, here, here my thing. But what I'm saying is that you're not you're not gonna shift. You know exactly what it is that you want. And if it doesn't meet what you want, you're out of there. It's that simple. So what I mean by that is that finding some sort of purpose for your life and your interactions with friends, family members, partners, or whatever, is easier to spot in your 30s. It's not, it's not, it's not like, wavy as it is in your uh, 20s. It's really easier to spot and you go with it or you don't go with it, you cut it off and you move on. Is that is that simple? Is that simple? Another thing that I learned in my 30s is that who or what you surround yourself with is a choice. So think about it. It's a choice, right? What you want for your life and who you want to keep around you or what you consume or what you, um, um, you know, see or want for yourself in your 30s is a choice. 
So who you surround yourself with, your friends, your partner, your family, who you surround yourself with is a choice. You're not forced like you are in your 20s. Let me give you an example. So you go to a family function when you're in your 20s. How many minutes are we on? 11 okay so you go to a family function when you're in your 20s right and you're at you, you they tell you that listen okay and you need to be there and whatever and whatever a lot of the time you're gonna go whether you want it or not you're gonna go because you feel like you do not have the choice you do not have a choice in that matter um if you think about uh friends yes you might have choice in the friends that you pick but a lot of the time you haven't developed yet to such a point where you you just you just want to have fun you know you're not worried in your early 20s about the friends you keep or how much value and worth they bring to your life and all of that you're not worried about those things you know when you're looking at relationships with friends in your 20s you're not worried about what value they bring or what especially your early 20s what value they bring or what kind of um goodness they add to your life or blah 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 you just you're just having fun if this person has fun with me i'm gonna keep them around for a while once you get to your 30s you realize that yeah i have a choice if i don't want to go to the family function i'm not gonna go and no one's gonna tell me that anything <laughs> no one's gonna tell me that how why didn't you come whatever whatever it's it actually happens people don't even ask you questions about hi bo why didn't you come or whatever maybe that odd person here and there but a lot of the time you're grown if you tell people that i'm not coming because i'm busy with work i'm not coming because i'm i'm not i'm not and you don't feel like you need to explain it doesn't get questioned that very much in your 30s um whereas you know even same thing with your friends who you surround yourself with in your 30s you start to tap into this part of you where you want to surround yourself with people that bring value to your life you want to surround yourself with people that understand you for who you are that are not with you because of what you have or what you bring to the equation or blah blah they're with you because you have a mutually beneficial relationship with the, with that person same applies to a uh, relationship regarding a lover or you know a partner or anything like that you realize that i have my own life as a 30 something year old i've built my own life i've built my career i've built my home i've built whatever so when you pick a partner as a 30 something year old you Consider things like what are they going to be bringing into my life that is of value? I'm not looking at the fact that is he gonna give me great sex? Uh, is he gonna take me to the mall? Uh, is he gonna take me on trips? Uh, blah blah. You're thinking about those things, but they don't really define what gives you that choice in a partner, right? you think about things like what value are you adding to my life mentally what are you bringing to my life what are what what and what what value are we bringing to each other's lives that is one of the most significant things that i've picked up in my life particularly in my 30s everything what i surround myself with or who i surround myself with is a complete choice and I do not have to uh, be apologetic about whether I choose it or not. It'd be like that sometimes. What I'm currently learning and living in my 30s is that it's never too late to be or become who you want to be. I realize now that there's more than enough time. Before I would get anxious and antsy and you know in my early 20s oh my god I just finished school at 27 and now I don't know what am I gonna do by 35 I'll still be struggling and this and this and that and the other and I haven't achieved this or I haven't you know I want to have a kid or whatever once you reach your 30s you realize that who or what you want to be or what you want to achieve can still happen and you do not put pressure on yourself as much as you typically would in your 20s. In your 20s, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I can't wait till I'm done with this degree so that I can get a great job. Oh, my foot is falling asleep. So that I can get a great job, so that I can buy my first BMW. You always have these 
Mm, 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 mm. You always have these set rules that of what you want to do, when you want to achieve it, how quickly you want to achieve it. All of that when you're in your 30s, why in your 20s. Once you reach your 30s, you realize that, nah, I've got time. I've got time. If I want to park this idea for a little bit, it's fine. I've got time. I'm not going anywhere. I've still achieved as much as I've achieved by now that I can have all the time in the world to still be who and what I want to be. And that's what I love about uh, uh, um, being in your 30s. You tap into parts of yourself that you're like, you know, I may have the job that I have, but there's a part of me that wants to be a life coach. This is me. I'm telling you guys my stories, right? There's a part of me that wants to be a life coach or some sort of motivational speaker or all of that. And you know, I want to achieve this, but I ain't in no rush. It's fine. I'm going to just take it a day at a time. I want to do this and start this business. And then I want to start that business with my friend and all of that. But there's time. If there's something that you pick up in your 30s is that you still have time to be who and what you want to be. There isn't a rush. You just need to harness it, excel in your craft, and then keep pushing and keep moving forward. I hope I explained that part right because that's very important to me. And then the last point I'm going to add is in your 30s, you also learn to add something valuable to whatever you say or to your interactions with other person. Person, persons, or with other people, right? So you learn that... Um, it's not just about the shoes. It's not just about the clothes or the fancy trips or the fancy whatever. You actually learn that, okay, what value do I bring to a certain situation? What value do I bring to my friendships? How am I advising her properly and of value and objectively when it comes to her work or her family members or her this or her that. You start to learn in your 30s that it's not just being, uh, it's not about just having fun and just, you know, there are parts of your life that are always going to be fun. Whether you're in your 30s or 20s or 40s or 50s, there are parts of your life that are always going to be fun. But what value do you bring to a certain situation? What value do you bring to your job? What value do you bring to sitting in a room full of intellects and people who are sitting and talking about politics what can you bring to that table you know you start learning that there's value in 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 things in moments in people in experiences and what do you bring to that you know and it's so so important especially for me i feel like i want to surround myself with people who add and bring value to my life so that value can come in the form of if you're going to advise me on how to handle a relation, uh, relationship issue, I'm not going to say I'm going to listen to you because I am going to do what I want to do at the end of the day. But if you want to advise me on what to bring to a certain relationship situation, what is it exactly that you're going to say? And is it of value, right? Um, it makes you, you, you know, once you hit your 30s, you just want to be a well-rounded of person you want to be grounded There's parts of you the way you're just like okay what kind of value do i bring to myself as a person but also to others and i feel like you tap into that a lot more when you get to your 30s i hope that makes sense all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are in your 20s and you're getting to your 30s these are things that you are going to learn and thank you so much for sitting through this video even though you're in your 20s um i, I, I can guarantee you you're going to learn something i can guarantee you or you're going to remember me maybe you're 29 or you're 28 and you're going to remember watching this video two years from now and you'll be like damn yeah she did yeah she said that because I know that this is the stuff that I went or am going currently going through. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe, share, repost, do all the things. I really love, love and enjoy seeing you guys watching my videos on uh, Instagram, 
who is what what is going on i really love you guys watching seeing you guys watching and enjoying my videos on instagram or whatever other uh, platform so i really love that please share repost retweet anything if you see me talking about any one of my videos and all of that please do the absolute most it really does help me out uh click the subscribe button click that bell so that you know every time i upload and i'll see you in the next video so there's still a lot more to learn you're in your 20s don't be so hard on yourself there's still it, your 30s gets better i promise you it gets better until the next video i'll see you very very soon bye